Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have our first major version upgrade rolling out for Firefox version 122, which Mozilla started pushing out maybe 20 minutes ago today on the 23rd of January 2024. Now, to double check we have this update, as always, we head to our main menu, click on Help, click on About Firefox, latest version and build after the update has been applied 122.0. Now, this latest stable release does include a couple of new features and improvements. But first of all, um, we also have a couple of important security issues that have been addressed. So first of all, just focusing on the security vulnerabilities that have been fixed in version 122. And with this upgrade, we get 15 security issues that have been addressed, which is quite a good couple of security vulnerabilities that have been patched. So just double check your browsers up to date. And out of the 15 vulnerabilities that have been fixed, a third are high impact. And high impact is your next level under critical. So those are important fixes that have rolled out. So five of those, a third, are high impact. And those will be listed here right at the top. So that's stack buffer overflow, uh, wild pointed dereference in JavaScript, crash in NSS TLS method, and failure to update user input timestamp. So those are a couple of criticals, and we also get it out of bounds right in angle. So high impact vulnerabilities, five in total. A third of the vulnerabilities are high impact, so just double check your browser is up to date. Even if you're not interested in any of these new features we're going to have a look at today. Now, first of all, the first new feature that's rolling out uh, is small, but maybe could bring a significant change. And Firefox now displays images and descriptions for search suggestions when provided by the search engine. So I'm just going to use the exact same example they have in the release notes. I'm just going to do a search for Beyonce. And there you go. So basically you are seeing uh, the thumbnail image. And there we go, Beyonce Renaissance form. So images and descriptions for search suggestions are now provided by the search engine. And then the next one is regarding the translations feature uh, in the browser, which has had a couple of improvements. So if we just head over to a foreign language web page and we just translate that, uh, the uh, translations feature received an improvement and has received an improvement in the quality of translated web pages. Mozilla says the results should be much more stable now after this update. And this update fixes issues where the content of a page could disappear when translated or interactive widgets could break. So there we go, translations has had a couple of improvements. So if you are using that feature, that may be a step in the right direction. Now the next couple I'm just going to mention quickly. Um, Firefox now supports creating and using pass keys stored in the iCloud keychain if you are using the browser on Mac OS. And the next one just to mention is MDN Web Docs article suggestions from Firefox suggest will be available in the address bar for users searching for web development related information. And then the next one is to do with line breaking. And the web browser compatibility in regards to line breaking is improved with this update as it now, according to Mozilla, matches the Unicode standard East Asian and Southeast Asian users of Firefox that could benefit from improved word selections when double clicking on words. So a bit of an improvement there where the line breaking rules of web content now match the Unicode standard. And then the last one to mention for this update is that Firefox now ships with a new .deb package. If you are using the browser um, on Linux, so that applies to Linux users on Ubuntu, Debian, and Linux Mint. So that may be a nice move in the right direction. If you are using Firefox, which I know a lot of users do um, on those Linux platforms. Now, we've had a look at the security issues, but just to mention a issue that is unresolved. So just a heads up. Mozilla says that some machines with older AMD CPUs may see image thumbnails incorrectly rendered as all black in file dialogs. And then they also mention if this is the case, updating the graphics driver should address this issue. So if you are running an older AMD CPU and um, thumbnails are incorrectly rendered as all black, then you need to um, update your graphics driver according to Mozilla. And over and above that, um, we have a couple of enterprise and developer changes that have rolled out um, that won't be of um, much use and 
interest to your average home user. And just to let you know that the next version of Firefox, version 123, is going to be rolling out on the 20th of February next month, this year, 2024. So that's it, guys. That's more or less what's new uh, in Firefox version 122, which is now our current stable release. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.